Hello everybody, this is Rick Stevens from Stevens Car Services showing you why it's very 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 important to clean up your intercooler and hoses if you have replaced the turbo when it's damaged. I would say this turbo is damaged as worse I have ever seen so this would be the best video to show you why it is uh, very important to clean up the, the intercooler. Some uh, garage don't clean up the intercooler well and then after 10,000 kilometers your whole engine is broken and then uh, they don't have an explanation why the engine is broken but when you have seen this video you know why it probably has been broken because all the debris of the turbo that is totally wrecked from this car the turbo I show you first this is the turbine wheel at the exhaust that is looking very nice no debris for whatsoever but when you turn it around and this is also the worst thing to have the intake uh, wheels are totally wrecked this one was uh, so bad that it was even was jammed, so it wouldn't uh, turn anymore. This is the, the worst kind of turbo failure I ever experienced in my whole life. So I, for food, uh, I thought I'd make a video of it. If all this debris is not cleaned out the intercooler and hoses, then your engine will be wrecked at a point of time. So this is the intercooler, maybe it's uh, nice to show you how it's uh, like. This one, uh, this hose is connected from the turbo to this side at the bottom. And you can see, if you look inside, all the debris is here stuck. And now it's not a problem because there is oil uh, that is uh, sticking it. and to the, the bottom of the intercooler but when you mount a new turbo then you get a problem after a while because all the oil that is now uh, from the old broken turbo uh, yeah, that was already leaking oil was uh, flowing through this um, intercooler has uh, then dried up and when it's dried up those particles when you uh, yeah you're giving uh, much gas they will float again and then they will go uh, through this um, yeah how do you call, call it like a, a raster of um, aluminium and when they uh, mention to go through then they fly at this side in the engine and you know what's going to happen then I don't have to tell you then what's going to happen because it will wreck your engine totally and here you can see how bad it is with this one this, this all the stuff just comes out you don't want this in your engine I believe you I, uh, I believe you that I uh, I would say uh, <laughs> very bad English but you know what I mean now so maybe it's handy to know how this one is mounted because you don't have to release the whole bumper like other videos uh, show you. This is like a 180 brake horsepower race car so it is not a problem to do it uh, at a easy way that I will show you. This one is mounted like this at this side and it is clipped with a clip like this one you just have to release that one and then you have to release the three screws from the others the uh, yeah underneath and the wire harness from the sensor if you release this one then you have the the wind um, deflector uh, you can just leave him there you don't have to uh, dismount the thing and then it's very easy to take the intercooler out and when you have cleaned it very good then you uh, if you want a very much power like this one you have to clean this one too very much because you can see it's totally clogged with dirt and stuff like that
it has to look about this but this one you see it's half halfway gone so uh, I have to clean it very good uh, the video has been a little long sorry for that but now you know why you always have to clean 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 the intake before you start the car uh, when you are having a turbo failure uh, as this have a nice day and be blessed